Now, I don't care, with society specify, I don't care if you multiply vertically or multiply horizontally. In practice, you will do it horizontally. Uh, but if you still want to do it vertically, I have no objection to that. But you may, since I didn't specify, do whichever one you're most comfortable with. The thing you have to remember is that two squares to multiply by itself. Okay? <coughs> All right, and actually, maybe, well, maybe vertically is the best way to to, to see that uh, it's this middle term that people so commonly leave out. People want to say a plus b squared is a squared plus b squared. It's just not. All right. A squared plus 2AB plus B squared. Okay? Now let's use that. Uh, Q mean. What would we have to do to get the quantity A plus B cubed? Yeah. You have to multiply that by A plus B. Yeah, let's use, the, let's use the work we've done before. Let's use <laughs> this and then let's multiply this by A plus B. You want to uh, continue vertically since we have this laid out? Here, come on. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, just write an A plus B under it. Or do you want to do it horizontally? Yeah, that's okay. All right. And this is good because we'll see an example of both. We want to take that expression times one more factor of the quantity A plus B. <coughs> <laughs> you got to be careful here because we're taking a three term expression times a two term expression. There are six monomial multiplications you have to do. You certainly wouldn't want to uh, omit one, nor would you want to do one twice. So you got to be very careful here. And then let's combine like terms, keeping in mind the factors might not be written in the same order. Good. And do you have an A there? Do you have a, some A, B squares at the end? Yeah, that takes so long. Good. Well, uh, not past this point. So I think the final product is, in decreasing degree order of A, A cubed plus 3A squared B plus 3AB squared plus B cubed. Who got that? 